Alright everybody, so welcome back. Last session, you all continued your journey through the Amber Temple in search of the Sun Sword, collecting more dark gifts for yourselves as well as the now unfortunately deceased Gor. Bar oh, no, Gore's still alive. I thought he died. No. Oh, that's right. He did not he's recover. He's a zombie. Oh, he's a zombie now. Fantastic. He is an undead gore. That would explain his his severe hit point deficiency from the last time I saw him. <laughs> but yeah, collecting more of these gifts, learning the consequences of a couple of them, and the potential danger that they now pose. But hopefully you all can use the power that they have granted you before it is too late. So, you've continued your journeys through the Amber Temple, finding your way towards a secret back chamber, um, a very well-appointed library that seemed very well kept, very well stocked, very clean and tidy compared to much of the rest of the Amber Temple. You looked around in there a little bit, but eventually made your way down a set of spiral staircases into another chamber of Amber Sarcophagi, this one different than the others. This room much larger, much more ornate, with several depictions of strange scenes, demonic incursions, and wars against the forces, the fiendish forces versus mortals, carved all over the amber walls. And in this room, along with those three amber sarcophagi, were several of Strahd's minions, vampires that had been apparently left here for countless years, waiting for just this exact moment that a group of adventurers would stumble upon them and they could feed once again. You were able to defeat these creatures, eventually, and although bloodied and bruised, you did see the vault. The vault in which you know the Sun Sword to be located. You made your way into it, carefully sifting through the piles of treasure, avoiding the very center of the room as you did so. But once you did reach the pile of treasure that had the Sun Sword within it, you all heard a strange, grinding, screeching noise as an unseen amber golem, one of which you've faced before, and you're all fully aware of the danger that they pose. One of these creatures, one of these constructs, was invisible in the center of the room, and having acquired the Sun Sword, it is now active and seeking to ensure that no items leave this place. So... Roll initiative, everyone. <clears throat> I don't okay. like it. Okay, that could have been worse. Uh, actually, it literally couldn't. <laughs> well, it could have. It could have gone. It could be going much higher in the initiative than it is. Is what I meant. <laughs> True. Okay. Boulevard, you are up. You all know this thing is in here, so I am going to take it off of the GM layer. It is invisible. Ah. Uh. Well, um, he stomped on me pretty hard, mm -hmm. and I got my gem, which is all I wanted. So I'm going to uh, use my free casting of invisibility from t uh, Shadow Touched, cast invisible on myself, and then move. Hopefully not. Hopefully can't see invisible creatures. Okay. Uh, and I'm going to move to like right here. Okay. The moment that you go invisible boulevard, it swings wildly at the air in the space that you just occupied. You are able to escape without any injury. They cannot see you. Okay, no, that's my turn. Lee. <clears throat> um, the thing's invisible. Yes. Oh, and I will tell them. I will tell them something <laughs> stepped on. <laughs> something stepped on. So they know they they know something's in here. Right? They probably Please, just watched you fold. fold. <laughs> yeah, seeing him get yeah. flattened. Um, <laughs> Jesus. Uh. Actually, I think I have a thing for this. Oh. 
We had to think of it in the short rest. We have not yet set up. Do I have a pack slot? Yes, I do. Okay. Uh, I'm gonna cast the uh, mirror image. Okay, awesome. That's, that's up. Bonus action, <clears throat> I'm going to do nothing, I guess. I guess I don't really know where it is, but... so I'm just going to hug the wall. Okay. Um, remember, you can take attacks at disadvantage since you know the general whereabouts of it. Um, um, attack rolls against a creature have advantage, and the creature's attack rolls have advantage. <clears throat> just so you know. Okay. So you're aware. Well, uh, I'm just gonna hug the wall and just go on this side just to not create this this giant potentially cold of cold slash whatever burning hands it, could, it might do or not. Okay. Whatever. Um, but yeah, I'll just chill back here for now. Got it. Okay. That does bring us to its turn and it is going to lumber forward to be in the midst of all of you, and it is going to begin swinging wildly. Oh, dear. Let's see. There are four potential targets. We will start clockwise with Varanus. Lee. And the second strike will also go to Lee. Sure. Lee, that is a 14 to hit. <clears throat> That'll miss. Followed by a crit. Uh, I have to reroll that. Reroll, wait, no, d20, right? Uh, does that hit a thing? Yes. Oh, that right. hits a mirror image? Yep. Yep. Fantastic. Oh, thank god. I'm sorry As me. it's turn, Aurelia. Uh, I'm assuming, can I hear the swings go by? Oh yeah, you heard it stomp right up in front of you. You can see the marble floor beneath it cracking as well. Um, I know this is probably going to be a disadvantage, but I'm going to try and I think Dissident Whispers it. Okay. And I'm basically like, you know, try and get it away from my general direction. Absolutely. Its wisdom save result is at advantage, but it did roll dual sixes. All right, so it's going to immediately move 30 feet away from me and take 17 psychic damage. Fantastic. So it takes the damage. It does not take the psychic damage. Yeah. It takes no psychic damage, as it has no brain to wound. But does not turn. Uh, does Dissonant Whispers... Mm. Um, yeah, I think on a fail, it has to use this reaction to move away from me no matter right, what. Right, right. I'm just making sure that there's no... If it can't be charmed, it can't have this effect, but it doesn't look like there's anything like that on here. Yeah. Okay, so it turns and stomps against this door. I am going to immediately back up next to Carlotta, and I'm going to end my turn. Okay. Veronis? Well... <laughs> I really wish I still had Fairy Fire on my spell list. Oof. How am I going to deal with this? I am going to take the gem of seeing out of my bag and okay. speak its command word. Fantastic. The gem of seeing. Nice. Okay. So, three charges. And actually, you speak the gem's command word and expend one charge. For the next 10 minutes, you have true sight up to 120 feet. When you peer through the gem, 1d3 expended charges at dawn. So, you see him. Okay. And. 
Based on what I see, uh, I imagine I can direct Carlotta with some precision. Sure. We can negate the disadvantage on that. Have her go over, and this is just a large creature, right? Correct. So I'm going to have her attempt to grapple. Okay. It gets a 22 on its athletics check. Oh, well. I tried. Uh, that... I'm going to back up into the crevice here, and that's my turn. Bolivar, back to you. All right. Uh, I will finally cast a spell I've been wanting to cast <laughs> for the longest. Uh, summon Shadow Spawn. Hey, I hold nice. that gem that's worth over 300 gold and smile, and a creature made of shadow looks like a shadow puppet. Uh, I'll make it appear right in front of this guy. Fantastic. And I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go with the uh, despair so that the thing gets 20-foot movement reduction when it starts its turn within five feet of my creature. Okay. And uh, I'll cast it as a fourth-level spell. So actually, let me... <laughs> that way it gets two attacks. He's been ready for this day. <laughs> oh, yeah. So I have no it's more fourth-level <laughs> slots. It's a ghostly Sam. <laughs> uh, so it's going to attack. Um, so it uses my attack modifier... Come on, character sheet. Where's my attack on the fire? I should be an expert at this by now. <laughs> I mean, who's really an expert at anything at this point? Yeah. <laughs> oh, goddamn. Nine to hit. That does not hit. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, do you uh, have a shadow spawn token? Uh, if I can get one, I'd... Yeah, you yeah. got it. I don't think I have art for it yet. Um... Okay. Damn, the second attack is a... First one was a two, second one's a three, so both miss. Unfortunately, missed. it's <laughs> jarring entrance into reality is not going well for it. Okay, uh, so and what that, is uh, these shadow spawn? Okay. Um, I'm also going to move through these guys and kind of hang out right here in front of Varanus. Uh, that's my turn. Shadow Spirit token for you. Oh. Does it have a stat block? I thought these all had stat blocks. They do. It's not on there for some weird reason, but um, I can post it. Weird. Shadowy Spirit. Gotta get that Y, no? There it is. Got it. So he's got 50 hit points because I upcast it to 40. Got it. 50, you say? Yep. There he is. He said right next to Carlotta. Yep. The default art on that is actually pretty dope. <laughs> yeah, it's really cool. I yeah. like it. <laughs> I, I, I wouldn't say it evokes shadowy spirit, but... Definitely I agree. Creepy. It's more like a <laughs> aberration of some yeah, kind. It, it, yeah, I think it's, a, I think it's an angry, right? It's uh, angry from uh, Mordenkainen's. The two heads, stubby. Oh yeah, um, that thing in a yeah. One of the oh. sorrow sworn. Yeah, I use the sorrow sworn all the time. Those things that uh, they use in that one adventure you ran for us, the one shot. Yep. Ah, yeah, yeah, yeah. Very cool. All right. Okay. Lee, we're up. <clears throat> um. Right, I'm gonna just start heading this way. Uh, short, uh, poison blade. Okay. I disadvantage you said? Uh, yes. Okay. 19 <clears> hits. <throat> well, 12 to hit. Oh, 12 does not hit, unfortunately. Alright, follow up. That 19 does. 19 to hit. Okay. 6 slashing, or. Four slash, uh, four slash lightning. Four sl ugh. I can't speak right now. Um, f four lightning, two slashing, plus an additional twelve slashing. Okay. And your weapons are magic, right? Uh, the no oh, slashing not. damage is halves. Okay. Okay. Got it. Got it. Okay. Is that this all? Is this back around to the? Okay. 
it lets out a burst of energy. This wave washes over everybody, almost like a sound wave emanating from it. I need everybody within 30 feet. I'm sorry, everybody within 10 feet. So just Arlotta, the Shadow Spirit, and Lee to make wisdom saving throws. Lee, you barely make it. Jeez. As far as Carlotta and the Shadow Spirit, you are under the effect of this being's slow effect. It is similar to the slow spell, but a little bit less severe. So, can't use reactions. Its speed is halved. Can't make more than one attack on its turn. In addition, it can either take an action or a bonus action, not both. You can they get to repeat the saving throw at the end of their turns. That is its turn. Aurelia, you're up. Alright, I'm going to move in a little bit. Um, I think the best thing for me to do right now is cast Vicious Mockery to try and give it disadvantage in an attack. Um, Wisdom save result is a big ol' failure. Alright, it's going to have disadvantage on its next attack, and I'm going to give Bardic Inspiration to Lee and end my turn. Got it. It does not take the psychic damage, but it does have disadvantage on its next attack. Veronis. Hey. I'm gonna try something here. Get a little closer. I'm gonna slip past Bolivar here. And looking through my gem of seeing, using the other hand, I'm going to attempt to cast Reduce. Reduce, okay. Uh, nope, not that one. I was gonna say you same level, like same level spell though, right? Yes. Okay. Veronis, you can drop concentration as your spell has no effect on the creature. Okay, uh, I'll step back and uh, have Carlotta attempt to grapple again, I guess. Okay. Yeah. Fantastic. Carlotta does manage to wrap it up as it turns and tries to stomp it back towards you all. Carlotta gets in its way. Hands to the beast's knees. It cannot move. Sweet. All right. Holding on for Jalek. That's the turn. It is grappled. Bolivar, back to you. All right. I will uh, tilt touch. Okay. I guess that didn't quite roll for me. Let's try it again. Tilt touch. Oh, it's a uh, disadvantage, isn't it? That would miss anyways. I think. Oh, that's the damage right there. Yeah, why is it not rolling the attack? That's weird. That is weird. Well, I'll try again. Um, my bonus is plus eight, not plus seven. I made a mistake last round. Twenty-one it's certainly. Twenty-one, hits. but but I'm at disadvantage. Sorry, I gotta just okay. manually punch. There you go. Oh. All right, so nine <laughs> necrotic. Sweet. Nine necrotic, and then uh, shadow spawn only gets one attack. Nineteen, 19. hits. Nineteen. Oh, hold on. Disadvantage. Sorry. <laughs> good, you're good. Ah, good hit. yeah, perfect. So he does. I think it's plus three plus the spell level. Yep. Eight cold okay. damage. Got it. Got it. And then I'll roll its saving throw at the end of the turn. That's the nine. Right. It so is still slow. Yep. That's my turn. Okay, Lee. <clears throat> All right. Um. Yeah, same old, same old. 22 to 22 hit. is a good hit. <clears throat> okay, uh... Five lightning and... 14 slashing halved. Okay. I'm sorry, not, not 14 slashing halved, what the hell. It's, um, five lightning, 12 thunder, and four oh. halved. Okay, sorry. got it, got it, yeah, yeah. Because it's blade, yeah. And then 
follow of short sword attack. 21 to hit. 21 hits. <clears throat> okay, this one's five lightning and four slash. Five four, four slash. Please. Round and death. Okay. okay. What's up? That's fine. Okay. All right. Okay. It turns. Those of you that can see it, those of you that can't, can certainly hear it doing so. And. It is going to begin swinging wildly once again at anyone who is in the room. Okay, swings to the shadow spawn at the shadow spirit, bringing a massive fist down. That is a 13. Oh, I'm sorry. It is invisible. It is a 19 to hit. That hits. For 23 bludgeoning. Then brings its left hand sweeping across everyone. And strikes the shadow spawn once again, or strikes at it, I should say. That is a 24 to hit for another 22 bludgeoning. Oh, it's almost dead. <laughs> yeah. Got three hit points left. Nice. <laughs> Good for him. Okay. At that point, it is going to stay static, stay immobile, emotionless, motionless. Aurelia, you're up. All right. So I'm going to cast Mass Healing Word on Lee, the Shadow Spawn, Bolivar, and myself. Okay. Um, so that's going to be five healing plus I'm using my spiritual focus. So that's going to be nine total healing on each person. Nice. Um, <clears throat> Thank you. <laughs> got you. Um, yeah, I think that's going... No, that's going to be it for me, yeah. Okay, okay. Varanus, you are up. Right. Well, I'm out of cool tricks, so... I can't hold the gem of seeing and fire my crossbow. That's the problem. I can get in melee range. Just barely. Unless Bolivar counts as difficult terrain. <laughs> no, you're good. You might. Yeah, okay. Screw it. I am going to drop my crossbow on the floor, run up past Bolivar, take the gem of seeing in one hand and my axe in the other, and try to swing on this thing. Okay. Damn, yeah, son. Twenty-three hits. Is that twelve, or is that no, the other? Just okay, got six. It. That's from. Yeah. <coughs> Bless you. Thank you. That is going to miss, unfortunately. Yeah. Yeah. And uh, in her grappling state, I'll have Carlotta do her squeeze for a force rend. Okay. 12 does not hit. Uh, okay. That's my turn. Bolivar. All right. Uh, let's, uh, let's try again. Chill touch. At disadvantage. 13? 13 does not hit. Okay. Actually, I'll stay back for that. Uh, Shadow Spawn. We'll chilling rend. First disadvantage. That is 18. it. Sweet. So uh, that's eight cold damage, and um, it's gonna make it saving throw. Fifteen. Okay. Fifteen fails. Fails. Damn. Okay. All right. That's my turn. Lee. The creature is, you all are beginning to hear bits and pieces of it falling to the ground. Those of you that can see it are seeing spider web like cracks forming away from the parts that have been struck. It's definitely taking some damage. Okay. 
<clears throat> um, yeah, just the usual, I suppose. Can't really do much. <laughs> I'm out of everything. <laughs> uh, booming blade. Twelve's a hit. Twelve does not hit. And um, follow up. Nineteen to hit. Nineteen does. Okay. Um, <clears throat> it's uh. Three lightning damage and twelve slashing halved to six. Okay. So what can do? Right. There are now four individuals within swinging distance of this thing. It swings and strikes at Veronis first. Veronis, that is a twenty-seven to hit for eighteen bludgeoning damage. Uh, yeah. Uh... Shield's not going to help with that one. It then swings at Carlotta. With a 22 to hit for 20 bludgeoning. Jeez. Still continuing to swing wildly. Aurelia, you are up. Oh my god. Um... I mean, the only thing I can really... Well, let's do Bane on this thing. Let's see if it actually can get Baned. Um... Charisma. <laughs> yeah. Charisma saving throw result is a 9. Alright, so it subtracts a D4 from each of its attack rolls and saving throws. Got so it. that's the positive. Um, and I'm just gonna... I'm gonna go back. I'm scared. I'm ending my turn. We're honest. Uh, I will continue the assault. Hey. That, uh, 19 does it. Yep, 7 damage. Oh, damn, nope, that was an accident. <laughs> Drive! Run away! <laughs> <laughs> it was down to point, like... six, three, and minus seven, okay. And uh, as I hit with that, I will use my last charge of Arcane Jolt to do an additional 2d6. Okay. Not bad, not bad. And Carlotta is going to do her squeeze. 23 will hit. Okay. That'll do. Hey, hold the bar. <coughs> All right. I can make it. So I will move 5, 10, 15, 25. Time to end this. And I will upcast a... Um, inflict wounds to third level touching it I'll use my sessional inspiration so that I don't have to attack at disadvantage here we go please please nice <laughs> wow awesome yeah so that's going to be a lot of damage yeah. um, <laughs> so that's 5d10 10d10 10d10 wow Forty-eight necrotic damage. Forty-eight. Wow. Holy hell. Okay. Fantastic. All right. Olivar, the black necrotic energy begins flowing into it. It flows into the cracks and begins widening inside of them until this creature just bursts from within. A small black cloud hovering where it once stood. Shards of amber rain around you all, and it is dead. Whew. Nice. Woo! Gotta love the timing on that soundtrack too. <laughs> right. <laughs> uh, perfect. <laughs> Perfectly planned. <laughs> okay. Fantastic. It lies as a pub as a pile of amber rubble at your all's feet. With that you all now have possession of the sun sword. Decisions, decisions. <laughs> <laughs> 
I hate it because yeah. uh, oh, it's a rapier too. <laughs> I believe it takes the form of any sword. Okay. So it can be any sword you all need it to be. So this is it then. I mean, I guess it is. It's a lightsaber. <laughs> I'm going to do a, a, a scan around the room with the last uh, time on my gem of seeing just to see if there are any other giant invisible statues in the room. Let's see. Uh, there are no board. more giant invisible soldiers in the room. No more. Yeah, it doesn't let me see magic, so. Well, I mean, isn't there like a couple piles that we still haven't? There is, in fact. The pile that Bolivar was going through is the one that had the sun sword, and then there is one more that has not been rifled through. Uh... Who can use the sun sword? Any of you guys? Pretty much anyone, except Bolivar, I guess. Yeah. Oh, wow. <clears throat> um, so it doesn't look like you all thoroughly searched through the last pile just yet, because if we had, I'm sure one of you would have this plus two rod of the Pack Keeper that was in there. We had a Sorcerer. Pack yeah. Keeper is Warlock, isn't it? Yeah, Warlock. Oh, Warlock, sorry, yeah. Oh, that's right, you're a Sorcerer. I thought you were a Warlock for some reason. No. Nah. Um, uh, a wizard and who's been eldritch blasting is that aurelia i mean i've made a deal with two dark gods does that technically <laughs> make me a warlock no unfortunately i'm a sorcerer bard i could have sworn i saw some eldritch blasts flying around maybe i saw I mean, El maybe i saw elegant battle axe my mind just said eldritch blast i just don't wait he's wondering if we're gonna start eldritch blasting with his battle axe what <laughs> Sold my soul um, to the devil, and all I got so, was 2d10 force damage per round. There are Damn. two sorcerers in the party. What's the sorcerer equivalent of a Rod of the Pack Keeper? Well, I'm uh, a wizard, and uh, <clears throat> I guess we have one sorcerer. And okay. One yeah. Let me look at Tosh. Tosh is called. Yeah. Let's 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 make, let's make that. Let's <laughs> let's let's retcon that into something useful to one of you. Whatever. The you sorcerer. All can it's like um a blood vial or something. Yeah, like that. I would say blood. Uh, is it called blood vial? Something like that. It's vile, something vile. Um, okay. um, before we before we go any further into that and divvying out magic items, seeing who gets what, what that item's going to be, um, the last pile does contain again a mountain of gold. There is a thousand gold pieces worth in there. Um, there's an obsidian scepter with gold filigree worth about twenty five hundred GP. There's elven rusted horns, and then of course there is the Thing that everyone is waiting to hear about there is a rather elegant looking bow in there that seems to be emanating frost from all around it i don't think we have any archers in the party though well well, well no actually well crossbower i mean i was gonna say longbow but that is a pretty bow to be fair Pretty cool looking. Uh, the <clears throat> sorcerer equivalent, by the way, is called a Bloodwell Vial. Why does this give me Skyrim vibes? Because it's Skyrim art. <laughs> yeah, I'm just like, what? I'm like, I've seen that glow before. <laughs> that is 100% Skyrim art, because this bow did not have art, and I cannot, I, I hate handing out items without art. <laughs> uh, I mean, yeah, I can... I mean, it's still technically better than my, uh... I mean, unle unless you want, uh, because I know another one of the magic items is the all-purpose tools from Tasha's, but... Well, I'm not going to sit here and ask for a list of custom magic items, but, you know, those are pretty cool. Okay, yeah, this is basically just ice knife and a bow. That's pretty cool. Unless anybody else wants the bow of Victor's Wrath. Hey, look, no. a folding boat. A floating boat? <laughs> 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 Most random magic item. 
Right. Well, I, on a boat, that's, that's to really be cool. fair, I have found uses in that floating boat. Yeah. And they've all been for treasure. I every single every single one of my Avernus campaigns, the folding boat, the swan boat, one of the boat magic items, the feathers token boat has always come into play yeah. to help them get around on the sticks. Yeah, in campaigns like that, it's very useful. Even, like, it's weird, like, I think about this, like, imagine going to, like, the Abyss and traveling on, like, the River Styx, and just going from, like, one layer to the next to the Abyss is just, it sounds ridiculous, but it sounds so fun. Yeah. Yeah. It sounds, yeah, that sounds awesome. <laughs> <coughs> Alright, everybody. So. Silence falls over the temple. What do you want to do? Get me we rest. got what we came for. Let's go finish Strahd. I mean, don't we have to go <clears throat> to that Tristani camp to go see him? Within seven to eight days. Yes, it means <laughs> seven, wait, is it like five to seven business days or like five to seven days period? <clears throat> it really depends if it's a holiday, you know, that could mess things up. <laughs> Great. Is it going to count the weekends? Is, was there, is this a holiday weekend? Is New Year's being is observed this Monday, or was it? Is the little girl going to come out of the well? <laughs> Unless Got there's her. any more power we wish to extract from this place, looking specifically between Aurelia and Bolivar. We've extracted no, enough thinking. power. I don't I want got any what I power. Came for. The gem is what I needed. So the big fancy one back there looked kind of cool. As I go straight back to it. Remember, Varanus, the thirst for power sometimes is never satiated and just I don't corrupts thirst you. For power, Bolivar, I thirst for victory. Indeed. I got what I came for in here. Don't let it cloud your mind, though. Look what happened to me. I really, I really want to inside check you just because of the wording of that sentence. <laughs> I yeah. got what I came for. <laughs> Me just thinking about that bottle of the lich powers that I got. That we know nothing about. Yeah. Oh my god, I forgot about yeah, that. Yeah, really? Yeah. She knows how to become a lich now. By the way, we didn't find any, uh, what was it, com uh, control key for a construct? No. No, it's probably on the, it's probably on the dude. Yeah, on do the, we really want to go see room. a lich? Just for a control key. Yes. Those things are useful. <laughs> I was going to say, wait, the chaos of this group, it would be yes. <laughs> <laughs> well, my vote is to go visit the Vistani camp, but I'm okay with uh, continuing to money. collect items. <laughs> Even if we did decide to fight the Lich, we're in no condition. <clears throat> I'm dying. Let's go. I'm dying. <laughs> Look, it, my thing is, he is mad, from what we know. Do we really want to fight a Lich that is mad? I mean... Besides, we would have to take time finding out where his phylactery is. Otherwise, <laughs> fighting it is pointless. Huh? Uh... Yeah, no, that... Yeah, like, no, you're know right. I know what that is. <laughs> now, weird simple for door. How do I open you? I have an idea. I'll order Carlotta to smash the door down. <laughs> <laughs> um, Work. from the oh. interior, as soon as Carlotta touches the door, opens. <clears throat> I was gonna say if we check those crates, but inside those crates there were vampires. Are we gonna go back into our uh, friends with the, uh, you know, those things? And I point at the burned corpse of the uh, gaunt. I don't think they'll be of any more use. 
Alright, then let's start heading out then. By the way, now that we have it, we still haven't answered my question. Who is going to wield it against Strahd? Oh, that's a good question. Uh, Lee, you, you use the words, right? <clears throat> I mean, this is, this is, this, this is kind of a spectral sword. This is one of the lightsaber swords. Do I have to learn how to dance? Is that a thing? Do I, have to I go choreograph what's a Strahd? lightsaber? What are you talking about? Dancing? What? I mean, I gotta choreograph a dance. I gotta, you know, you know, it's gotta be with trumpets and everything. Isn't that what elves do, though? Just, like, use some swords, play a f tune, dance to, what, you know, magic or whatever? <laughs> so you will need a short rest to attune to the weapon, of course. <clears throat> but then you will understand all of his properties. The question is, well, if I can... Well, I mean, when we, when we found it, it was... Was it just already a, on? It was just a hilt. Oh, shit. Okay, this thing could kill me. If, like... If it senses the darkness. Have you never but... attuned to a magical item before? <laughs> no, actually. I'm still empty. I refuse to use the Staff of Adder. Hey, you remember we gave the Staff of Adder to me? Why is it on my thing? Get out of here. Delete. Look, you should probably take it, I mean... Alright, I'll show you. I have to attune to this one as well. Oh, yeah, I got this, uh... What the hell did we get in there? Uh, I don't know why Bolivar's still in the room, but I think it's a blood... thing. It's a vial. I don't know. <clears throat> um... You're, you're a sorcerer, though, right? Arlen? Yeah. That's... Yeah, that's pretty good. That's a really good item. Well, like with most items, once you've spent some time sinking with it, so to speak, you'll understand more about what it does. <clears throat> I have two other items, so I think this is the last one. Oh, no, wait, I don't think I can... I would have to remove a two-man on something else to gain a two-man to this. Um... It's worth it. Yeah, I mean, it is. <laughs> Well, I guess we'll be a staff of the Adder or the Bloodwell, huh? Here's the other question. Do we want to try to rest before we descend the mountain? Or after? <clears throat> My vote is... After. I think this place... We need to get out of here as soon as possible. Yeah, you know what? I'm gonna leave this snakehead staff behind. I don't think any of us are gonna use it. Let me use this vial. I mean, we could always just sell it. I, I yeah, don't think true. there's a need to throw it away. Yeah. <laughs> I'll keep it in my bag. I'll sell it. I know the Vistani probably have some use to this. I don't need this $50 bill. I have 100 right here. <laughs> yeah, exactly. That's two $50 bills. <laughs> now, my only concern with descending the mountain right now is that... With this sword, we may be a genuine threat to Strahd, and he may not wait until we have the advantage. <clears throat> so we rest. So what you're saying is, uh, he's gonna know we're gonna try and kill him. <clears throat> well, we should at least take a short rest before before heading out. Short rest, then. Okay. Where do you Agreed. all want to do that? The safest place in the in the temple. <clears throat> well, there are from from your expeditions through here, there are two places that you have genu that you are generally sure are safe enough. There's the place where you took your first rest, the one bedroom that you locked yourselves in, and then there is where you found Gore. They had been there for a couple of days. Or you could try literally anywhere else, but those are the two places that you can that you at least have some indication that you have some 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 form of safety there. We may not want to revisit those people. I mean, we have a walking zombie of one of their warriors. Do we really want to go see him again? 
You're talking about the people you made deals with? How do you know I made deals? So you, you don't know I made deals. Listen, let's just go into one of these side rooms. I mean... like, but he wasn't even talking about that. <laughs> and you're like, you're getting so defensive. <laughs> Like, I don't know what you're talking about deals. <laughs> yeah, th what this guy's the one that, you know, is the Zangzord guy, you know? <laughs> Alright, so y'all going upstairs? Yeah. Okay. There's that lecture hall, too. Yeah, I mean, we could go in that lecture hall. As I get to the top of the stairs, do I hear anything, GM? A perception check. You hear nothing. It is silent as the grave. Something's not right. What do you mean? Do you hear that? I hear nothing. Exactly. Got it. <laughs> there was an entire tribe of warriors on this level, wasn't there? It was. I mean... Can we see that? <laughs> is the, the is the door open? The door is open. My people, mi gente. Hey, wait. Wait, what? What is he? What are you doing? Why are you running? <laughs> <laughs> Why are you running? It is a scene of carnage. There are no bodies, but each of the bedrolls is covered in blood. Arterial splatter covers the walls. The hand of one warrior rests on his blanket. Are there any mostly intact bodies? Most intact thing that you find is a hand and a few globs of flesh stuck to various parts of beds and the floor and the walls and the ceiling. Oh, thank God. I thought I had to fucking take care of these things. Someone took, it, took care of it for me. No responsibility here. <laughs> there weren't any defenses left. Well, yeah, I mean, we, uh, we kind of took their defenses. <laughs> As we took their main fucking guy? No, but... What do you mean? Wasn't Gore like, like the ringer? Killed Gore the was. one left. What? Thought... We're not good people, I mean... Can I try and figure out if, uh, like, where, like, the blood path is leading to? Survival or investigation? I didn't... Can I, can, he, can I give him advantage? Uh, yeah. Yeah. <clears throat> investigation. Whales plus guidance is D4. Mm-hmm. 13. A 13. So, the attack was not carried out by... It was not It was not a clean attack. Um, almost like what you've seen from wild animals. With a 13, you're not able to discern too much. But it doesn't look like swords and axes and clubs did this. It looks like beasts did this. Based on that... Would it be multiple beasts or a beast? For the thirteen, I think it's safe to say that there are that that it was multiple multiple creatures.
I believe we should rest before we head down the mountain. I agree. This is this is a sign that Strahd knows. Strahd. I was under the impression that Strahd would not enter this place. But perhaps his minions? He does control wolves and other animals, does he not? I mean, yeah. Let's descend to the bedroom and barricade it like we did before. What, you don't want to rest in a bloody pile of corpses or something? <laughs> I really don't think this is the time for joking, Aurelia. <laughs> I mean... Well, there's this potions room, too. Small door. The door is intact in this room, right? Oh, uh, yeah. Oh. Sorry, I didn't Sorry. have the fancy door feature yet, so we can't open and close doors as we go through them. We'd be able to hear if anything returns, possibly. Um... Yeah, if you all are doing your watches and all that good stuff, you'd be able to tell if something was to sneak up on you. I can always do Leomans if you need. So are we doing a long rest or a short rest? Um, if we're able to do a long rest, that would be ideal, but... I don't know that I can trust long resting in this place. Um, <clears throat> I would rather not long rest. That was just <laughs> continue my timer of doom. As I hear like the uh, the clock from um, what's it called, uh, Majora's Mask, like start <laughs> taking down. Um, since I do know the time of day with um keen mind do i know if it's like evening or night or something like that um yeah you'd be you would get the sense that it is um it is late in the evening at this point probably like eight or nine at night all right i mean we can try to do um a long rest i can do i can whip out the leomans i think leomans is a great idea yeah i think a long rest is safer Right, D. I'm gonna whip out is... Liamin's tiny hut. We're ride or die, Lee. Lee? Ride or die! Um, since you are the skeptical one, I'll let you roll the d20. Hmm. It's not about skepticism, it's about whether or not I'm a die. I got it. D20, you said? Yeah. Boy. Okay. I looked away. Where are you guys? There you are. Your long rest passes without incident. Uh, there right. are, are a couple of things I'd like to try during this long rest. Absolutely. All right. Go ahead. Well, I, as long as it's I, not I like a couple of things. I try I'm to going... summon Strahd or something like that, then your no, long no, rest no. might not go as planned. <laughs> so obviously I don't need the crossbow anymore, so I'm changing one of my infusions. That's okay, just cool. mechanics. Uh, I would like to try to use some of my tinkering tools, though, to try to attach this gem of seeing to the bow as like a sight. Okay. Ooh. Yeah, go ahead, on... and, go ahead and make an intelligence check with your Tinker's Tools. Do so without issue. So um... that, in theory, should let me shoot my bow using... You have attached a sight of true scene to your bow. Nice. Uh, I'm gonna summon Titere again. <laughs> oh god, poor that guy poor keeps bad. dying. Fuck. <laughs> <laughs> poor bat keeps dying. After... Mm -hmm. <laughs> uh, you did say that was a uh, plus two blood well, right? Or um, yeah, if the, if, since no one could use the Rod of the Pact Keeper, and if that is what you all decided, then yes, a plus two blood vial or whatever it's called. Uh, actually, let's just take a minute here because I gotta set up the Bow of Winter's Wrath because that's not on the compendium. Okay, yeah. Or, well, I mean, you guys don't have to. I'm just saying. Yeah, you need to get your get your sheet set up to use it. 
All right, let's do this. Do I heal or not? Uh, for future reference, uh, one of the infusions I'm going to use is resistant armor necrotic. We resistant armor necrotic. Basically, it gives you half damage, so oh, okay. necrotic damage. It's like a higher level infusion, I think, right? Uh, higher. Yeah. <clears throat> Don't have to roll the 100. You do, in fact. Now, one moment, please, before you roll. Pick okay. a 15 number range that is bad. <laughs> that you don't want to hit. 15 number range that I don't want to hit. Yep. Uh, 15 to 30. 15 to 30. <laughs> oh my god. Oh goodness. my god. Oh, oh wow. <laughs> Stuff happening, Sean? Oh, my oh, god. <laughs> You lucky, lucky man! <laughs> oh I'm my like, god! I'm thinking zero to fifteen. I'm like, fuck it. Mm, that's no, you weird. did it. You did it. All right, good stuff. Nothing happens. Hey, Veronica, you can. We, we can wait until you're done with doing all the stuff that you need to do. But um, at before uh, when you've complete your long rest, I also need you to roll a d100. I need the long rest, buddy. Okay. Wait, well, me? so let me. Uh, no, Veronis. Oh, I was gonna say I only have one dark gift, man. How long has this long rest and short rest been been here? Uh, that's been there, I think, forever. Huh? Since the start of the session, since the start of the campaign. Huh? Huh? The long rest, short rest button at the top of your screen. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. yeah top of the screen. No, oh, I was gonna say in the character sheet. Oh, oh the character. what? Yeah. What? 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 Oh, yeah. yeah, that's <clears throat> definitely new. What? What? Yeah. Um, on the so oh, yeah. if we go into our character sheet on the main page under uh -huh. flaws, we have buttons called short rest. Oh and what? Long rest. Yeah. I don't. I don't use the. I don't. I don't uh, use the, the the quick stuff. I. I I'm, my character is always open. Oh, that's cool. It's a button. Love buttons. Buttons are great. And you and you can adjust those numbers underneath it. Like for me, I have it pack slots, pack uh, blood maledicts. Um, and you can uh, link that to the short rest button. Hell yeah. That's cool. It's a great oh, little quality um, of life feature. Sean, our hit point maximum had been reduced, I think, before. Oh, that's right. Can, uh, <clears throat> does that go away? Cause After long rest, rest, yes, it does. Okay. I gotta read <sighs> my HP. Yeah, I'm going to D&D Beyond just to see what the character is. <laughs> For sure. I think mine was always 64. So... I had 76? Holy crap. Nice, nice. Yeah, I just took a screenshot. I'm gonna edit it down since I have two screens, but I will show you what it looks like. All those are D8s or D10s? D8s, right? <clears throat> yes. For artifice or yes? Oh, that's so much better. Having a 28 hit point maximum is not fun. <laughs> <laughs> what the hell? <laughs> yeah, that, I got hit several times by that thing, by those vampires. Jesus. Yeah. yeah Although one of Aurelius' healing words almost took me to max every time. <laughs> so that was fun. <laughs> <laughs> Back to full health. Ugh. <laughs> <laughs> um, in my Out of the Abyss campaign um, I'm, I'm not going to do any spoilers or anything but uh, Demogorgon shows up pretty early just Hell to say yeah. hi what else? <laughs> and what else? Um, what else the other one just too? as one of those kind of like set pieces where it's like run you know like only I love a, that scene yeah it's so great um, but it's... one of my players got hit by him once Ooh. his hit point maximum <sighs> became three Jesus Christ. <laughs> brutal. Yeah, it brutal, was brutal. insane. <laughs> yeah. He hit one of my players, but in the final battle. Oh, jeez. Um, so that, imagine. <laughs> yeah. But uh, <clears throat> that scene is so, super cool because no one, no one takes it seriously at first because these, like, fish people are so, like, silly. Mm-hmm. Huh? And oh, then... My final battle was way different than... <laughs> Has anyone here not played that campaign that expects to at some point? No. No, 
one. Yeah, it was a weird way to put the question, actually. <laughs> yeah, I guess it was. Um, does anybody mind if we share some spoilers while we're talking about it? Go for it. Okay. <laughs> yeah, the Kuatoa in that game are fucking yeah. wonky as shit. Like... Yeah. The... My players really were just laughing at first, and then yeah. I did like this. I played Voodoo Lady, the song from Ween, during the <laughs> ritual, so it was even sillier. Nice. And then all of a sudden, he comes out of the water after yep. the, the murder. First, they didn't expect any, anything to get killed, but they, sac they did the sacrifice. And then when it came out, they all freaked out. Like, yeah. they had no idea that was coming. It was yep. great. Yep, <clears throat> yep, yep. Yeah, with, uh, with my group, when we ran through it... Um, I had the I had the high priestess like act like they were they were it was all silly for them too like it was all fun and games they were all laughing like oh look at these funny ass fish people <laughs> especially <laughs> since they felt safe there from the drow like oh yeah they were all having a good time and everything and then like the Kuatoa who was leading them around just like suddenly like brutally bludgeons his daughter to death in front of them yeah and everyone's like what <laughs> and then Tim yeah. Morgan shows up it's like what the fuck yeah that's that's exactly how it happened with us like he just like cut her throat and they're like whoa what is that, is that, then, how, is that how it was supposed to do how they were supposed yeah. to do it oh yeah, yeah he, my dude i did it way differently there's a yeah. power struggle between the daughter and the chieftain and oh that was she's completely performing a ritual she's supposed oh. to sacrifice the players the player characters and then he betrays her and kills her yeah and then her blood spills in the water and Tim Gorgon shows up no, that was completely come, come cut out cut out of ours. Okay. So, so I'm ready to roll. Do you yeah. need to okay. declare a roll a D hundred? Oh, you guys fought the demon gorg? Oh shit! Gorg. You know, declare a range and roll again. Sorry. Well, uh, what range? Uh, a fifteen number range. Every time that you, well, now we can we'll let you onto the secret. Every time you roll, every time you take a long rest, this range is going to increase. If you remember last time, it was a ten number range. Now it's a 15 number range. Next time it'll be a 20 number range. Okay, uh, let's go uh, 85 to 100. Okay. Okay. Nothing happens. All right. Um, one question on the Bow of Winter's Wrath. Uh, mm -hmm. It says, on a hit, you may choose to have the arrowhead detonate. If you do, each creature within five feet gets 2d6 cold damage on a deck save. Yep. Does it doesn't seem to be a limit on the number of times I can do that? Nope. Homebrew items. I like strong items. They're fun. <laughs> Although this is one of the first homebrew items I made, so maybe a look at it. It's not out of the it's not out of the Because mm. my reasoning you know, I did make this for my last campaign where there was like four martial characters that had to be on top of people, so it was always like a choice, like do I do this and risk blasting my friends? But we don't really have many marshals here, it's just Lee. <laughs> I was just getting clarification there's no limit then whoopee yeah there is no there was no limit when i made it because it was made for that last campaign that did not like like i said it was always a choice like do i take this do i take this action and risk blowing up my friends or not i'll blow up lee that's fine uh, carlotta's expendable i'm already done anyway okay let's drop it down to 1d6 and then we'll just call it from there okay So what do y'all do? The rest does pass with that incident. The place is still quiet as the grave. Time to spawn the dog. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> and you know what that does now. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> they don't like me anymore. Well, you got a 50-50 chance of them, of them obeying you or instantly trying to murder you. Yeah, I'm not going to take two flame breaths in the face. <laughs> <laughs> Just because they're having a bad day. <laughs> I mean, they live in hell. Can't blame them, really. And, um, Lee, you're eating your bones, I'm sure. Keeping, keeping yeah, yourself I, a I healthy, bone eating boy. Yep, I already have 23 bones left. Awesome. Okay. 
What do y'all want to do? And I'll also use whatever time I need to heal up Carlotta. But, okay. uh... Uh, time to go, right? Mm-hmm. Let's get out of here. Let's get out of here. Get ready for a fight. Yeah. Lee, are you ready to use that new item of ours? Is your does does your uh, shadow spirit dissipate at any point? Um, yeah, I have to recast it. Um, yeah. So, <clears throat> is there any down. negative effects for attuning to the to the to the sun sword for me no. in particular? No. Okay. Uh, I'll, I'm it doesn't cast specify that it has to be stuff. a good character, right? Or okay. <laughs> yeah, I don't think it specifies anywhere, and you don't have any aversion to sunlight, so you should be fine. No, I do not have light sensitivity. Okay. Okay. So the oh. item appears to be a long sword hilt. While grasping the hilt, you can use a bonus action to cause the blade of pure radiance to spring into existence or make the blade disappear. While the blade exists, the long sword has the finesse property. If you are proficient with short swords or long swords, you are proficient with the sun blade. You gain a plus two bonus to attack and damage rolls made with the weapon, which deals radiant damage instead of slashing. When you hit an undead with it, the target takes an extra 1d8. Sword's luminous blade emits bright light in a 15-foot radius and dim light for an additional 15 feet. The light is sunlight. While the blade persists, you can use an action to expend or reduce its radius of bright and dim light by 5 feet each to a maximum of 30 feet each or a minimum distance of 10 feet each. Point of order. Mm-hmm. How much of that 20,000 plus gold are we taking with us? All of it. All of it. <laughs> <laughs> are, are, are we? Um, Why would we? That is a little too much to carry on your persons, even with Carlotta um, and your zombie man. 20,000? 20,000 20, gold we're pieces. Talking rough, oh. We're talking like 500, 1,000 pounds of gold. Yeah, I'm but 25, I have 25 out. strength. So like, <laughs> how much does that get? I'm getting get? a ritual cast uh, unseen servant and uh, he'll help carry. Who has a strength of two? Yeah. No. Two. <laughs> I mean, hey, let him pick up a gold piece, man. It's just one gold piece. It's like dragging it by. And like, ah. Oh. <laughs> we don't need all. We're never going to use all the gold on our way to Castle Ravenloft. Like, 15. how much gold do the Fistani really have, man? <coughs> how much does a gold weigh? Let's see. I think, uh, I think if... Really, I'm gonna, I'm gonna run a quick experiment on your character sheet real, real fast here. Bad. You have 279 gold before I do this. Okay. So, gold does weigh you down. Pretty substantially. So, just go ahead and put as much as you think you can carry into your inventory, and as long as you're not encumbered, you won't have disadvantage on your rolls. Um, how much do I think I can carry with an eight strength? Um, it's definitely not ten thousand, because I checked that and it didn't work. <laughs> I'll say I will put. Wasn't there an obsidian gold bloody scepter thingy that was worth a lot? Yeah, it was 2,500. Okay, Ronis will just take that. Ah, all right. <laughs> I will just put a 121 gold in my pouch to cap off at 400. Okay. <clears throat> I can carry 15,000 gold. 15,000? Yes, I can carry 15,000 gold. Nice. Nice. Can I carry more, though? <laughs> I can carry 16,000. Let's see. 17,000. Um, I cannot carry 17,000. I cannot carry 17,000. <laughs> How much? Uh... Okay, I can carry 16... Wait. 6,500. Lee's just got bags and bags of gold on his back. 
what's the weight limits? I forget what they are. Uh, it's calculated by strength modifier. I don't know exactly how it is. <clears throat> okay. Yeah, the... I understand your enthusiasm, but do you really think you'll get a chance to spend that much gold? The man's about to die. Let him enjoy what little life he <laughs> What the hell? <laughs> Very tactful, Bolivar. Thank you. <laughs> I'm just being honest here. We can't lie to the man. Uh, multiply your strength score by 15 pounds. Yeah. Okay. So I'm gonna take two thousand gold. This is all going for research to extend my life. Let's just good luck with that. So eight, Unencumbered. Um... <laughs> That's crazy. <laughs> oh my god, I'm gonna get robbed actually. So it is now early morning, probably about seven a.m. Uranus, as you exit, you begin to notice a very thick fog has encroached on the area. He knows, mm. obviously. He's known this whole time. Okay. He's toying with us. He let us find this sword. Or perhaps he thought we would perish in here. Who knows? I mean, to be fair, I don't think he wanted us to be in the temple, so I doubt he's uh, going to be happy anyway. I don't but think he... he's going to be playing games anymore, Bolivar. Not anymore, no. We'll see Van Richten standing very still in the path in front of the Amber Temple. What the hell? He does not acknowledge you. Oh, he did. Yo, Van Richten, what are you, what are you doing? Don't approach him. Aurelia. Yeah. From your angle now, you can see that he was positioned in a way that if you had come from the front entrance, you would not have noticed this, but there is a spear sticking in his back, propping him up in a standing position. There appears to be a letter flapping away in the breeze, stapled to his chest. I'll send the unseen servant to go grab it. Okay. Jose, go bring that to us. Jose! <laughs> <laughs> Jose. Yeah. Weapons out, just in case. Mm-hmm. <coughs> where's my where's favorite, the... my favorite sounds? Okay. Oh man, I'm General Grievous at this point, aren't I? No. Now you're General Grievous. God damn it. Okay. You get the letter back. Yeah. No, uh, no attacks against the Unseen Servant? No attacks against the Unseen Servant? You yeah. leave is... Van Ricken's body in its in the in the way that you found it? <laughs> Lee, there's some more bones for you to feast on. Yes! <laughs> I'm oh. gonna, I'm gonna read the letter. I knew that letter. guy, though. I knew that guy, though. Fuck. So, as the Unseen Servant brings the letter to you, it says... My friends, it's written in a very fine, elegant script. It says, my friends, know that it is I have, who have brought you to this land, my home. And as such, know that I alone can release you from it. I have what I want. I bid you dine at my castle so that we may meet and discuss the terms of your departure in a more civilized surrounding. I have sent a friend of yours to escort you. Your, your host, Strahd von Zarevich. It is signed. I look up to the air mm -hmm. while I hold the letter. You are not our friend. She says, oh, but I was, wasn't I? As you see Esmeralda de Avanyer walk up out of the mist. What the hell? Weapons up. Esmeralda, what's going on here? 
Well, you've read the letter. I am to escort you back to Castle Ravenloft. Why are you working with Strahd? Is it because of Petra? Petra is perhaps safer than she ever has been. Now, what does at that least. Mean? She looks around. So the carriage awaits. Although, there is only four seats inside. And as she says that, four wolves begin stalking up out of the mist behind her. They stand. They she says, stand? Oh, I see. They stand. She says, Strahd tells me that none of you even attempted to come find me, that you sent this old man to the castle, the place that you knew I'd been hold, held. It's true, isn't it? You all did not lift a finger to save me from that place. You know, as you were not you when you were possessed by Strahd, here, have a cookie. Oh. And I'm, I'm going to present a ration. I am far from possessed. Our gracious host has gifted me with more strength and more power than I could ever have imagined. And he's gifted me vengeance. Which one of you will pay the price of my abandonment? You all see a flash of yellow in her eyes. I want to loose an arrow at her chest. Fantastic. Roll dam roll attack, roll damage, and then roll initiative. Lady, I don't oh, even know who boy. you are. Oh, wrong voice. <laughs> so what not Sam. You just, I just possessed <laughs> me. What was that? The, the spirit of Sam commands you. <laughs> I want to add my flash of inspiration, flash of genius to it for, uh, wait, hold on. That's not even right. There, that was, uh, add two for, add five, so just 16. 16? 16 for strikes you squarely in the chest. You all hear a deep guttural roar come from her as the bull as the bolt strikes her. Jeez, uh, I regret stepping up and trying to sacrifice myself. <laughs> That's where that was going? Yep. So 20? 20 damage? 20 points? 20 points. Okay. She stumbles back and then she shrieks at the four wolves flanking her. Kill them! Lady, you said four. I mean, you. Like, out. One moment. My tokens are... Ah! <laughs> Madness! Madness, I said. Did you all see the, sh the whole fucking shift? Yeah! <laughs> 20 really? decent damage. Come on. It's all fuck you. Bucky? Yeah, sorry. <laughs> oh, we missed a secret room. Uh, oh, that's fine. There we go. Jesus Christ, okay. Get her wolves and her back out. How close were they to y'all? Um, that's about right. Yeah, that looks about that, right. Yeah, okay. Yeah. Correct. Hey. Okay. okay. <clears throat> so do I get uh, my other attack or just attack? No, that's it. That's all you get on the drop.
far. You're up. All right. <clears throat> I'm going to say, Puppet of Strahd, soon you'll be a puppet of ours. And I'm going to cast Tasha's Mind Whip on her. I'll move right here. And um, she'll need to make an intelligence saving throw. DC 16. DC 16 intelligence save. Mm hmm. She does fail. All right, she'll take um, 12 Psychic, and you know the drill, no reactions, Eight. move or attack. That's my turn. Okay. The first wolf comes charging forward, sprinting directly at Aurelia. It charges at you, going from a four-legged gallop until it gets right up in front of you and it stands up on its hind legs, towering over you. It lashes out first with its claws. That is only a 13 to hit, Aurelia. It then lunges forward and take, attempts to take a bite from your shoulder. That is a 19 to hit. What a cast shield. Fantastic. Okay, next wolf comes bounding forward. This one charging directly at you, Bolivar. Come get some. I will use my reaction. Okay. Uh, ability, uh, hypnotic, uh, in, sorry, instinctive charm. So it needs to make a wisdom 16 saving throw. Wisdom save result is an eight. It has to target someone else. Okay, no one else to target. Loses its attack. Fantastic. Only the one? Just one attack, yeah. Okay. It now attempts to bite at you. Okay. Does that trigger only on a hit or just when it attacks? Uh, when it attacks. Okay. Yeah. Uh, so bite uh, AC 16. It does miss with the bite. Only gets Sweet. a six on its attack. Aurelia. All right, I want to cast Dissident Whispers on this uh, creature in front of me. Okay. Wisdom so save be, result. That should be an 18. Okay. I don't know why it's... In, oh, no, it's 16 because it's... Yeah, no, it's 16 because it's barred. I just realized that. Okay. It does get a natural 20 on its, on its saving throw. Uh -huh. It does succeed. All right. Um... I'm gonna just give Bardic Inspiration to Lee and end my turn. Okay. Lee, you're up. <clears throat> With a flying speed of 50. 55. I'm gonna say 50 because I forgot. I'm just gonna fly over here with the Sun Sword. <laughs> Ooh, nice. <clears throat> uh, sun Sword out, Shield out, and going to booming blade here uh, let's make this correctly 18 hits oh, I'm scrolling down to all this stuff <clears throat> okay uh so it's two slashing 14 radiant plus uh ignore the extra slashing damage plus an additional nine thunder okay what is the damage total? <clears throat> uh, the only thing you have to slash, the only thing you have to have is the, oh no, you're using the sun sword now, right? Yeah, so all of yeah. it goes through, yeah. Uh, so total is 25 damage. Hell yeah. <clears throat> and then bonus action, I'm going to swipe again, the sun sword. Hits. 26 hits. Uh, 12 total, total, total damage. 12 total. Okay. Anything else? Uh, totally good. Right. Ez is going to look over the field. See a quick 
flash of something go through her eyes, and she takes a step back. So she, remember, she can only move or um, attack. As can? Yeah, because I mind whipped her. So, I thought you mind whipped uh, this guy. No, it was Ez. Okay, I did not make a save for Ez. I made it for one of the werewolves. Oh, okay. Sorry if that wasn't clear. Yeah, I, I, before anyone went, I went first, and I wanted to get her. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. I know. Yeah. You were uh, early in the initiative. I thought you hit one of the werewolves with it. So I need to give him back. This one right here is the one that took that damage. Okay. Yeah. It was twelve psychic. Okay. So I'll give him back this. And then you targeted Ez with that, right? I don't mind retconning this, yeah. but there is there is some things we got to do here. Um, what's the DC on her save? It was 16. 16. Is it a wisdom or intelligence? Intelligence. She does succeed that. <clears throat> okay. Right, so and, she takes half. And if it but, matters, she technically is in the sunlight range. Yeah, she seems unaffected by it. Okay. However. Uh, so she takes half, no effects okay. otherwise. Then. Got it. At the start of her wound, at the start of her turn, she looks down. She pulls the crossbow bolt from her. You see her look up, and something strange flashes across her eyes, and she takes a step back from you all. Drops the arrow as the wound that the bolt delivered closes. She says, "Only kill the ones you must." She takes a step back. She says, just come with me. It doesn't have to be this way. She has her turn. The two werewolves go bounding forward. One towards Lee. Lee, that is a 15 to hit. The beast is too dumb to flank. <laughs> that misses. Then lashes out again. Only an 11. Olivar, one rushes at you. Okay. Oh, you mean Varanus. Uh, Varanus. I will never get it right, apparently. <laughs> <laughs> Varanus, one rushes towards you. The claw is only a 10 to hit. It then attempts to bite you. That is a 23 to hit. Yeah, that is. For 8 the piercing. The Mardukovs were... Were they were people? They were were ravens we ravens, so who are these folk? These are the werewolves of Barovia. Right, but we don't know but we don't know what family this is. No, That's in fact you've only encountered the werewolves once and it was right after you all got here. Strahd's minions. They're probably right. the ones that killed mother. Say the uh, damage number again, please. Uh eight piercing, and I do need a con save from you. going to look this werewolf dead in the eyes from about three feet below his eye level and say, I don't have time for this. Die. Jeez. Oh, Jesus Christ. Jesus yeah. Christ. Man. I don't get That's your shooter, but... second use, right? Yes. Oh, my God. I really never thought that Varanus would become a cold-hearted killer, but here we are. So 65 necrotic, constitution saving throw result is... A nine. Yeah. The wolf howls in agony as its insides become its outsides and it rots away from within. Was he a humanoid? I believe werewolves are considered humanoids. Because that would mean he comes yeah. back as a zombie on my next turn. And I will 
use my bonus action to tell Carlotta to dash. Hold on, I actually didn't measure this. Yeah, it's good enough. To dash and get behind Esmeralda. Get behind Esmeralda? Yes. Okay. And I'll move up too. And that's my turn. Okay. Bolivar. Um, at the beginning of the um, initiative, as sorry, real quick, as as Carlotta rushes behind Esmeralda, she looks at it and then looks towards you, Bolivar, and she says, Don't do this. If it comes out, I won't be able to control it. Just come with me. Please. He's going to let you leave. Go ahead, Bolivar. No deal. Uh, I'm going to do some hand motions and disappear as I use my one long rest invisibility and I'm gonna move uh, so I'll do, oh, oh I can't dash so that's where I go uh, and I'll have uh, Titere kind of just hover about 30 feet above Esmeralda she begs you to stay back Bolivar you can see a yellow flash in her eyes again um it, can I is she able to see me? I'm invisible. Oh, no. No. Okay. All right, cool. So uh, once you went invisible, and once your bat flew towards her, she would begin saying to stay away. Okay. Uh, that's uh, that's my turn. Infliction clear in her voice. The wolves under her command continue their attack. Lashes out at Aurelia with a 9 to hit, and then whips around and tries to bite Lee with an 18 to hit you, Lee. Right. The next wolf, looking around, confused, sniffing at the air, trying to figure out where the hell Bolivar went, sets its sights on Aurelia. Aurelia, the claw attack is a critical hit. 24, that is going to be 12 slashing damage, followed up by the bite attack, which is only a 13 to hit. Leah, you're up. Um, can I do an insight check on Ez to see if I believe what she's saying? Give him insight. Is it, is it? I'm not going to use sessional. Really? Yeah. The, there is clear confliction in Ez, almost as if two beings are fighting inside of her. Um... With a 10, that's what you get. With a 10, you can tell that she is conflicted. But as far as whether or not she was lying about what Strahd, about what she says Strahd said, you have no idea. Okay. Uh, I'm going to, based on that insight, just disengage. Um, over here. Uh, I'm going to give Bardigan's... Did I get Bard... Nah, yeah, I'll give Bardic Inspiration to... I think I gave it to Lee already. I'll give it to Verona, so I'm gonna end my turn. Lee. <clears throat> uh, so swipe on this one that's already half dead. Actually, no. Uh, bonus action, I'm gonna activate the Ride of the Storm. Uh, five. Sad. All right. Um, and I'm gonna booming blade. The one above me. That's a hit. hit. What's up, Yeah, it does. <clears throat> All right. Oh, Jesus Christ, the sword. The booming blade effect didn't even go through. <laughs> um. And I'll position, like, right here. And my turn. Okay. Oh, the D6 for heals. Because I killed something. And back to full. We'll see the 
wounds on Ez continue to close up and heal. She takes a step towards you all, her hands out on either side of her. Again, you can see, you can see clear confliction on her face. She says, Don't have a choice. I can't hold it back forever. Please don't do this. Does Carlotta do anything when she steps away from her? Uh, no, I don't want Carlotta to attack her. Yet. <laughs> Yet, oh no. Next wolf attacks Lee. Okay. Lee, that is a flat 20 to hit. <clears throat> yeah, that just hits. For four slashing, followed by a 23 to hit for 10 piercing. And I need a con save from you on that one. Can not save? Okay. I'm sessional. <laughs> okay. The next wolf is dead. Uranus. The wolf is alive again because he is <laughs> still on <unpaid. laughs> Oh my god. How many zombies are you going to accumulate over this campaign, man? We, we have risen an above average number of zombies <laughs> in this campaign. <laughs> Back. Where is Zombie Gore? Oh, Zombie Gore is all the way back in the room still. Oh. <laughs> well, he's still Walking waiting into man. a wall he's over, carrying, over. He's trying to carry some He's dragging down. piles of gold. <laughs> <laughs> it's too heavy. All right, for honest, right. what would it be? I would like. I'm only going to carve this up. never seen this amount of zombies being risen in the campaign ever <laughs> <laughs> like without a necromancer no, I have never had a necromancer in any of the campaigns I've played in so conflicted I'm conflicted we need werewolves to die but Hey man, this is your decision and your decision alone to make. Okay. Uh, so I'm going to shoot the northernmost werewolf. Okay. Oh, not not that. I mean, <laughs> I'll probably use that, but um, sessional. Sixteen hits. And then I'll add the two from Winter's Wrath. That's what it's called. Uh, for well, DC 15 dexterity, I guess. Okay. It does succeed. Uh, 17 hits. Okay. I'll pop another Winter's Wrath and I'll also put Arcane Jolt onto it. Nice. 30, 30 damage on the base attack. Nice. Followed by another six. Okay. Uh, stack save first, though. It does not succeed that one. So, 36 damage. And... Gonna have Carlotta try to restrain Esmeralda. Well, oh, grapple her. Oh, that's not good. Eh. I, I'll give her a. 
flash of genius for uh, ten. Ten. Right. As Carlotta wraps, tries to wrap up Esmeralda. She whips back towards her, and a look of rage clouds all the other con all the other all the other thoughts, all the other confliction that she was feeling is just replaced by this animalistic rage as Carlotta grabs a hold of her. She looks, she whips her gaze back towards you, Veronis, and this time there's no shimmer, there's no flashing. Her eyes have gone black yellow with little black slits right in the middle of them. And her face begins to elongate. She cries out in pain as her body begins to transform. And within a few seconds, Esmeralda is there no longer. Instead, is a hulking beast of a creature. Oh my god. What is that? Okay, then. She throws her head back and lets out a howl as all traces of Esmeralda de Avenir fade into this beast. She roars and hurls Carlotta's grip away from her. A 25 strength. Wow. Challenge. I like, I like that she has a chicken foot tied to one of her uh, little braids there. Yeah, that's a that's a why wolf. Like why does it exist? Exactly. <laughs> All right. Veronis, is that the end of your turn? Uh, now I'm going to take a step back. And we are going to take our break. Okay. Oh, what challenge was Right, we are back. We are resuming at the top of the initiative. Esmeralda Diavanir has turned, transformed into this great hulking beast. The werewolves at her command, falling like flies, her pleading with you before her transformation to simply come with her, accept Strahd's invitation, and return with her to Castle Ravenloft. This arrangement, being far from what you all would consider something that you would enjoy doing, refused. And... After an attempt to restrain her, her patience expended, the beast within her now set loose. Bolivar, you are up. Okay, I'm going to take a big risk here, but big payoff if it pays off. I'm going to get behind her and start whispering magical phrases as I move my fingers in a puppeteer's motion. Uh, I'm going to hypnotic gaze her um, as I whisper into her and she'll need to make a wisdom saving throw, DC 16. Okay. Her wisdom save result is 7. However, Ooh. she chooses to succeed using one of her oh. legendary resistances. Okay. Well, in that case, at least we burn a legendary. I will then move this way and finish my turn there. Uh, I will have Titre fly down and use the help action. Actually, uh, I'll have him fly here and use the help action on uh, Lee. That's my turn. Say it again, Dexter. <laughs> I have to change that one because Bolivar, at the end of your turn, she whips around, looking wildly in the direction that you fled from. One moment. She charges blindly in the direction that you fled, Bolivar. She leaps into the air in that direction. Bolivar at disadvantage, that is a 12 to hit. I'm assuming that's going to miss. Yeah, that misses. Okay. That werewolf is dead. That one is not. Leaps onto the zombified form of Gore. No, Gore! Eh, let him die. <laughs> 
14 to hit Gore. That does hit. For 10 Gore slashing, B. Gore does drop. Gore B. Oh, he gets to save. He does. He wants to make a con save for endurance. All right. Come on, Gorby. Gorby. So it's only 10 damage. He does succeed. Yes. Drops to one. He's still carrying some gold. <laughs> uh, the werewolf uses its second attack. With the 21, does four more damage to Gore. Ah. Oh, no. no. <laughs> <laughs> All right. At the end of the werewolf's turn, as swipes at Aurelia. Aurelia, that is going to be... Twenty-seven to hit, Aurelia. Yeah, that's gonna hit. Or seven slashing. I need you to make a strength saving throw. Oh, I'm great at these. You are knocked down. Uh, sessional, sessional. You are not sessional. knocked down. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm not taking that zero. <laughs> You're up, Aurelia. Um, I believe the plus one rapier I got from the Amber Temple is silvered, right? Uh. Plus one rapier, it's magical. Okay. Um, I'm. Uh, uh, decisions. Um. Is this an action? Yes, it's an action. Um. You know. Let me take a triple check to see what polymorph can do. Um, can transform a creature you can see within range into a new form. An unwilling creature must make a wisdom saving throw. Oh, but it's, it has no effect on spell changes. Never mind. Thank God I read the spell. Um. You know, I am going to cast Dimension Door myself real quick. Um. And I am going to teleport just a little bit. <laughs> Go back here. Okay. Um, and I am going to end my turn. We. Well, I have a thing in front of me, so I'm gonna gonna deal with that first. You have advantage. Uh, Tita is using the help action for you. Yay! Done sword. Zoom. Twenty two hits. <clears throat> that okay. sword is insane. Yeah. Uh, Jesus Christ. That was with Booming Blade, so here comes Booming Blade damage. It's your it's your strength modifier that's giving it insane, bo uh, it's insane bonuses, too. Plus seven from strength. <clears throat> and then addition <laughs> an additional 14 from Thunder oh, from Booming Blade. Okay, okay. Um, it's still up, I'm assuming. Oh, uh, how much damage is that total? Uh, 5, 17, 14. Math's hard. Uh, 36. 36, it is still standing. Okay, uh, then I'm going to... Use one of my blood maledicts. Oh, she has, like, crazy strength. Probably not. Let's try, whatever. Blood maledicts on her. That's bonus action. Uh, so they need to make a strength saving throw? Let me double check that. So yeah, uh, strength saving throw, uh, DC 14. Saving throw result is a 17. Okay, so didn't take. Okay, uh, that's my turn. Okay. That wolf is not dead and it is going to strike back at you, Lee, with a claw attack. That is a nat 1 followed by a bite. That is only a 10. Both miss. Yeah, both miss. Brings us to Veronis. Oh shit, Ez is gone. Ez had what? I Ez, think a nine. Ez should have gone before nine. Lee. Yeah, it was. Was it? Was it a nine? I was like, I'm pretty sure after. it was a nine. Thirteen or four. Yeah, okay, so nine. after Lee, got it. Okay. 
and set that to nine. Go ahead, Lee. Oh, no, wait. That was Lee's turn. So what happened here? The werewolves went. So, okay, so now it's Ez's, it's Ez's turn. Mm hmm Okay, what does she do? So she growls into the general direction that she saw you vanish into, Bolivar, but after missing and, and hitting nothing but air when she came after you, she is going to turn. Focus her attention onto Lee. She rushes towards Lee, looms up over him. And that, Lee, are you missing hit points? You are. That is going to be a claw. 17 to hit, Lee. That misses. Followed by a bite. Oh, wow. 14 to hit, Lee. That misses. Okay. So just Jedi blocking with the sword, just right? not even looking. And the werewolf went. Varanus, you're up. All right, I'm going to take a little symbol out of my pocket, press it in my chest, and cast haste on myself. Nice. And I'm going to use the extra movement to run up, uh, we'll say, 20 feet <laughs> up this wall. Okay. And bend all the way backwards to fire an arrow at uh, the werewolf that's harassing Lee. Eh? With my extra action. And you are 20 feet up the wall. Oh, that was a... Yes. Okay. I have <clears throat> sharpshooter, and this is a range of 600 feet. <laughs> uh, flash of genius. Guess it uh, what? I, My last I, charge of Flash of Genius. Oh, and you have Bardic. Okay, well, we'll use the Flash of Genius, so that'd be a regular 13. Okay. Go ahead and roll your Bardic. 13 does miss. 15 does shit. not hit. Uh, shit. Okay, and Carlotta's gonna. Go to the other side and attack the werewolf. Okay. 17 hit. 17 does hit. Three force damage. And uh, werewolf zombies is going to... I think he can make that. Yeah. It's going to walk over and... Uh, What's, what's the zombie attack? Actually, Slam. Do uh, I need a sheet for him? Moment. Stand by. Oh, it's edited control, so shift double click him. Hold shift double click on the zombie token. It's not working. He also has actions here. Try the ship double-click now. There we go. That is not going to do it. Oh, crap. I just... Technical difficulties, stand by. Oh, uh, I just broke my roll 20. One sec. Oh, no. I gotta refresh. Uh, please do not take a hammer to your computer, please. That wouldn't be good. Look, I know World 20's APA is not great sometimes, but you don't need to take a hammer to your PC just because of World 20's APA, dude. 
Uh, zombies only get one slam, though, right? Yes. That is accurate. Did you say it missed? Sorry. Yes, that was a big old miss. Okay, then I'm done. Okay. Oh, that's right. You can't see his rolls. I'll go ahead and get him out in the open right now so you can see him. Uh, at the end of Bolivar's turn, Lee, as looms up over you and stares down at you, growling, saliva dripping from her bloody jaws, she lunges at you for a bite with one of her legendary actions, and that is going to be a 24 to hit. Yeah, that hits. Lee, you take 12 piercing and 18 necrotic. I need you to make a constitution saving throw. This is on someone else's turn. Con save? Yes. Eight. Okay. Right, Lee. Stand by. All you know is that you've been bit and it hurts like a motherfucker. Lord. Okay. Bolivar, you're up. All right. Enough games. Uh, let's beat her. I will. I will say, stand still, puppet. And it needs to make a intelligence save DC 16 as I psychic glance her. Int saving throw result is. Wow, she can't make these saves. A 10, she burns another legendary. Yep, good. I'm glad she did. Yeah. Uh, she takes 11 <laughs> points of damage. I'm no longer invisible. All right. I will now move here, and then I will have Tita use the help action um, on uh, Lee. Okay. And that's my turn. Our last... Oh, no, there's two more wolves. Two more wolves. Okay, this one's going to turn on the zombie that just tried to smack it. Claw attack is who crits the zombie for 13 slashing on the first hit. Followed by a bite that it only gets an 8 to hit on, but that still hits the zombie for another 5. So total of 18 points. Aurelia, you're up. Um... I'm going to take a step forward and I'm going to cast Vicious Mockery in the, this werewolf and be like, enough of your games, dog. Whoa. If I was a werewolf, I would certainly not enjoy being called a dog. <laughs> All right. Wisdom save result is a five. It does fail. It is, in fact, viciously mocked. <laughs> All right. Cool. Uh, disadvantage is next attack. Um, you know what? I'm gonna start moving up a little bit more toward that werewolf, and I'm gonna end my turn. Lee. <clears throat> All right. Um, I have <laughs> Lee has no personal connection to this lady, so he's gonna turn around and start swinging. Uh huh. Um, twenty-four hits. Yeah. Uh, wow. Okay. That's 14 from the Sun Sword and Booming Blade adds an additional additional 9. Okay. And then 8 and then 9. So 22. And then bonus action. I'm going to swap again. 16 to hit. 16 does not hit. Okay. Jesus Christ. 16 does not hit. Oh, that's fine. <clears throat> okay. Uh, wait, I still have that, that, that Bardic, right? Yeah. Bardic is what? D8? Yeah, D8, yes. And remember you had a advantage from the help action. On the first one. On the first one, yeah. So that turns it into a 19. 19 hits. Okay. That works. 14 radiant and uh, two lightning, two slashing. So total 18. Okay, okay. That certainly hurt. Okay. 
that will be my turn. Okay, you see some of those wounds beginning to close, but she does look slightly... She definitely is not as healthy as she was when we began. She is losing hit points, but she does gain some back. We. The focus of her ire once more. She does lash out at you, Lee, with her claws. That is only... Oh, you are missing hit points, so it is an 18 to hit. That's a miss, so... She then attempts to bite you. At advantage, only a 17. That misses. Brings us to her other werewolf companion, who is going to strike out at you, Lee. Claw attack is a 22 to hit for 8 slashing. It then turns its attention back towards Carlotta and attempts to bite Carlotta with a 15 to hit Carlotta. Uh, just hits. Four piercing. Right. At the end of her turn, at the end of the werewolf's turn, she sniffs at the air then turns to look at Bolivar, who is no longer invisible, if I remember correctly. That's right. She rushes at you. So, the secondary effect of Booming Blade kicks in if she decides to move. Yep, she does in fact decide to move. She does not provoke opportunity attacks by this movement. Uh, I actually have never used the secondary effect of Booming Blade before. One moment. never happened before. It's just extra damage, or...? I think so. Yeah, I think so. I think it just does a boom. Um... Yeah. Uh... Come really... get some. Oh yeah, she's coming. Just <laughs> <laughs> waiting, waiting for the effects of the booming blade. Yeah, yeah, sorry. No, oh, you're sorry. Good. Can't find it anywhere for some reason. Ooh, uh, da -da -da. on hit, if target one moves five or more feet, target takes one d eight. Uh, really? That's it? Oh no, two d eight. Sad. All right, additional eight thunder damage. Additional eight. Every little bit helps. Yeah. Okay, so this uses up two of her legendary actions. She's used two of her legendary resistances. Bolivar, laws coming your way. That is going to be something. Something is going to happen. Something. Oh, there we go. I'm just not scrolled up. Oof, Bolivar, that is a 23 to hit. Oh. Um, are you okay? You're not I, missing all your hit points. So luck, you are. You do have all your hit points. So luckily, it is not a crit. Which would have been the advantage. Uh, I will, I will uh, reaction uh, try to hypnotize her. Instinctive okay. charm, wisdom save. Wisdom saving throw easy. results. Gee, she's been really bad at these. Let's see how she does this time. Wisdom saving throw result is a nineteen this time. Right, she makes it. She hits me. Okay. Bolivar, that is going to be twelve slashing, and I need you to make a strength saving throw, please. Okay. Uh, 13. 13, you are not prone. Okay. Boulevard, you're oh. up. That's pretty cool. Um, yeah, I will, uh, I will stand up. <laughs> Is that all you have, Esmeralda? She growls at you. Uh, psychic glance, psychic glance. Go ahead and, uh, make another intelligence save. Int saving throw result is an 18. All right, uh, she takes eight points of psychic damage. And I will have Titere help uh, Lee, and that's my turn. Okay. Bolivar, at the end of your turn, she swipes at you again. That is a 20 to hit now that you are missing hit points. Okay, I'll shield that. Okay. And she misses. Right. Next werewolf continues its attack against the zombie. 17 to hit oh. for 6 slashing. We'll drop it. 
Did I lose my turn? Did you lose your turn somewhere? Werewolf? Oh, you know what? Yeah, yeah, sorry. That oh, was... he's yep, supposed yep, yep. to go before me. Yep. Yeah. So go ahead, Ronis. We'll save that zombie getting dropped for when you're done. Sorry, the last thing I, I thought... All right, anyway. Uh, I'm just going to take a bunch of shots, so... Yep. At, uh, Are you Zez. still within range for your hand crossbow? Oh, you're using, the, you're using the longbow now, yep, yep, yep. Bow of Winter's Wrath. Ooh, hey, okay. Nice. I'll do a Winner's Wrath on that. Okay. The damage dice on the secondary effect do not double. That's fine. They don't? No, the, the burst effect. It's a secondary effect. So I'm just going to say... Uh, I'm going to do it on every hit here, so if you just want to do the deck saves, we don't have to stop every time. Okay. Um, you did shoot Ez, right? Yeah. If you burst, Bolivar uh, is in that range. That is true. Is the D6 worth it? Possibly. No, all right. I won't do it. Okay. So how much damage are we looking at here? Uh, that one was 22. Okay. This one misses, I guess. And one other hit. Oh my god! Oh, nice! Hey. Jeez, that's three crits? <laughs> I was one crit higher than the other. Uh, 19 because... or 20. Oh, 19 yeah. or 20. Yep, yep, yep. Yep, yep, yep. So that's 24, and I'll throw an arcane jolt in it. Okay. What are seven? Uh, that is, uh... 2d6. I don't, I don't know if you if those double. He jolt does double, yes. I mean, that's so. So. Oh, by the way, Arcane Jolt heals. So. It can, if I use a healing spell. Uh, No, I think it'll, you can, it also heals with damage, you know? It's either heal or damage. You choose when you, when you use it. The target takes choose one of the following effects takes 2d6 force damage uh oh or i can yeah i guess or i can heal but this is veronis we're talking about so 2d6 force <laughs> damage Woo! hey what is the damage total off of that one uh, from just the jolt, or? Off the second hit total. 24, 34 damage. Oh, fuck yeah, okay. Um... Okay. Anything else? Uh, Carlotta's gonna try to smash the werewolf. Uh, 24 hits. Fail. Flanking. Oh, cool. And the Zomble's gonna try to smash the other werewolf. 20 hits. I guess he's not getting dropped because five does kill this one. Yeah. Zombie werewolf beats non-zombie werewolf. <laughs> yeah. And that's the show. Okay. That zombie is now, that werewolf is now dead, bringing us back to Aurelia. Alrighty. I am gonna take a few steps up and I'm gonna cast Sorry, is I'm gonna cast vicious mockery on you. To be like, you were once pretty, but you're not pretty anymore. Wisdom save result is a 22. Oh my god. Yeah, she's getting there now. All right, you know what? If you're gonna succeed like that, I'm coming after you hit, and I'm gonna start walking up and in my turn. Wait. Um. Just gonna burn another blood maledict bonus action. Uh, strength save. Strength save result is 17. Oh, Jesus, the same thing. Okay, uh, I'm just gonna swipe at the guy right next to me with a, not a booming blade, just a straight up sun sword attack. Okay. That is a hit. Crit. Uh, I want to give him crit. my sessional for uh, He already has flanking with Carlotta. Oh, okay, never mind. Yep. So, 
<laughs> that is a very, very dead werewolf. <laughs> then, using my flying speed. And then, attack number adult. 24. Four hits. With uh, 13 damage. Fantastic. Okay. Anything else? Tis all. She does regain 10 hit points at the beginning of her turn. Now, with her attention divided, she has entered a bit of a frenzied state, frothing at the mouth, her eyes wild. She turns towards Bolivar, leaps atop him. Claw attack is a 22 to hit, Bolivar. Uh, number needed. Or 21's number needed. 13 hit. slashing, and then I need a strength save from you. She attempts to knock you back to the ground. She's 17. Good luck. All right, let's see. Uh, one second. Let's see, you said strength, right? Yep, strength save. Strength. Okay. That's a 20. 20. Yeah. Fantastic. So, you manage to keep your footing, but then she lunges forward and attempts to bite you, Bolivar. There's a 24 to hit. With the, that hit. Bolivar, that is 15 piercing, 10 necrotic. And I need you to make a stray, I need you to make a constitution saving throw. I'll use, uh... Oh, no, I used my session already. Okay, that's a fail. Uh, I'll give you mine. I didn't okay. use it for, uh, Lee. Well, before you succeed. Thank you. <laughs> oh, wait, did I use my session, or did I... I think I did, actually, unfortunately. I just realized that. Sorry. <laughs> no worries. That's filming. Okay. Boulevard, nothing immediately happens to you. his turn. That wolf is dead. Brings us to Varanus. Well, let loose the barrage. Okay. Do you have advantage for any reason? Uh, no. Okay. I'm pretty sure I used my session. 16 does not hit. 16 doesn't hit? 16 Aww. does not hit. Sad. All right. 15 does not hit. These hits just keep getting lower. Oh, no. Damn. Uh, the curse is back. Yeah. All right. That is unfortunate. Needed that damage. Anything else? Uh, you have your you have your your robot and your zombie. Yeah, oh, they're pretty far away. Uh, I guess I'm gonna have Carlotta dash as her action. Okay. And the zombie can I don't know shamble. Yeah, I guess he can dash as well. Still caught up in her blood frenzy, Ez lashes out at Bolivar at the end of your turn, Veronis. That is a 19 to hit. Can that I Carlotta consists. give it disadvantage? Oh, never mind. What? Said it misses, Bolivar? It misses, yeah. I had cast shield on right at the end of my yep. turn, so yep. it's still not my okay. turn. Bolivar, you're up. All right. You picked the wrong side to side with. Now you die. And I will uh, Missy Step. Uh, so let me measure that. Okay, so I'll Missy Step. And then uh, I will Chill Touch her uh, Esmeralda. Uh, so, God, why is this not rolling? 
Uh, 12 to hit. It's not hit. That's a miss, I'm assuming. It is a miss. All right, and then I will move uh, my movement of 30, so... Uh, I will move Titere right next to her. And that is my turn. Okay. Boulevard, at the end of your turn, as wildly swipes around herself, trying to strike you as you flee, she does not get anywhere close to swiping at you as you've misty stepped away. However, she does... Swipe at Carlotta. A 16 to hit Carlotta. Oh, yeah. Or 14 slashing. I mean, a strength save from her. She does go prone. Lee, you are up. Dead or alive? Did I get skipped in? I think I got skipped in there. Did you? My bad. Go ahead. Yep. You're yep, yep, good. yep, yep. You're all good. Really Legendary yeah. actions are a bitch to manage. A hundred percent agree. Um. Uh, I'm gonna use bardic inspiration myself to use tale of the beguiler on Esmeralda and she'd be like, "Go to sleep, puppy dog." And she must succeed in a wisdom saving throw or be incapacitated and take um, 11 points of psychic. Wisdom saving throw result is a 20. Dirty 20, but still a 20. Oh. Okay. Um, I guess I'm going to move up a little bit and just be like, screw you, bitch. I'm going to my turn. <laughs> All right. Uh, that does bring us to Lee. Actually, one last thing. She has one more legendary action. She's going to wildly swipe. Although, no, she's not wildly swiping anymore. I think she's going to target this time. Yep, and that is going to go for Lee. Claw attack to Lee. Sure. Uh, you are missing hit points. That's a 28 to hit for 7 slashing. I need a strength save from you. Yeah, that hits, yeah. <laughs> strength save. You are not Really? Prone. How much damage is it? Uh, it's only seven, but you are knocked prone. Uh, sure. That does bring us to your turn, Lee. All right, I can stand up. Uh, Luna, stop. Get up. Um, well, sword attack. Uh, yeah. That's gonna miss. That is gonna miss. Attack number two. Attack number two. That hits. 22. That um, also hits. No, I, I, it was only the first one. Okay. Uh, 17 radiant, uh, 3 lightning, 2 slashing. 22. Yes. Okay. Uh, and that's all I can really do. All right. Unfortunate. Lee, she is going to lay into you with both of her attacks. Here we go. Okay. The claw. It's gonna be a 26 to hit. That hits. For seven slashing and then a strength save. Okay. Do 17 on the strength or you're knocked prone. Wait, just... You do succeed. She then attempts to bite you, Lee. That is only a 16 to hit. That misses. Fantastic. That is good. <laughs> Alright. It's gonna end her turn and bring us to Veronis. Let's keep going. I didn't mean that way. <laughs> oh, no. Uh. Sorry, bud. Eat me. <laughs> Man, I never plan a sharpshooter build again. See, like, the fun, the crazy part about these sharpshooter builds is that statistically you should be doing considerably better than this. <laughs> Flame Strahd. Uh, that's fair. Valid. That's... I'll have Carlotta swing. Maybe. Three hits. Oh, well. That was lag. Right. Nine force. 
Um, also, point of order, she did not regain hit points on her turn after that chill touch. Right. Uh... Now, I guess the zombies attacks was, aren't magic. Are talking about my chill touch? Yeah. I missed on my... Oh, you did. Never mind. Back. Sorry, yeah. I gotta give her 10 yeah. points back. Thanks for remembering that, though. That's a really cool feature of chill touch. Yeah, it is a, it is a big, big-time big feature of chill touch. Right? Slam attack at advantage. Was it added? Oh, yeah. Well, yeah. For eight, okay. Uh, but it is worth noting that the zombies' attacks aren't magical. Yeah, either. she does not have resistance. Like there, it's, it's not in the stat that block. Is really surprising. Yeah. <laughs> She's not <laughs> immune to non-silvered weapons. She's not resistant to non-magical weapons. She's just a big hulking beast. Stride gave her that crappy discount werewolf <laughs> curse. You never shop at the discount shop for uh, werewolves, man. We check the main oh, stat Yeah, block you'll first. totally be a werewolf. Anyway, that's my turn. All right, all right. Um, all right, yeah, Lee, the blood frenzy continues against you. She swipes at you using one of her legendaries. That is a 25 to hit. For seven, yeah, like, it's seven and seven and seven over and over and over fucking again. Seven slashing, saving throw. Stay on your feet. Boulevard, you're up. All right. Um, let's see if it we can be. burn through that last resistance. Uh, I'm going to step up. And, I'm going to sit up, by the way. I will... Um, I will cast a third level bestow curse on her through Titere. Nice. So she needs to make a wisdom saving throw. Her wisdom saving throw result is a six. And there goes her last legendary resistance. Yes. All right, cool. Uh, yeah, you better have saved that because that would have been nasty for her. I will <laughs> uh, I will move back and uh, it to use its reaction, but it's going to use its action to help. Um, it'll help uh, Lee again. All right, that's my turn. All right. Let's see. It's used one after Veronis' turn and now one after Bolivar's turn. Lee. Ah, it's a 23. Going down. Disadvantage? Uh, disadvantage? Por qué? From Carlotta? She has advantage, but that would negate her advantage from her blood frenzy, which would turn that into a 13. Yes. Hey. So Lee does not go down just yet. Brings us to Aurelia. All right, I am gonna cast Mass Healing Word on myself and uh, Lee, and since I'm using Spiritual Focus, that's 13 for both wow, of us. Wow, nice. Um, yeah, I'm gonna come. On, I, this might be stupid, but fuck it, I'm coming in. I'm stabbing her. Okay. Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ. <laughs> all right, I can't all right, all right. It, man. What's the to hit? I can't see my screen is all 22. 22. That does hit. Uh, five piercing. Eh. So. And I am going to end my turn. You prick her with your rapier, and she kind of flinches a bit and slowly turns to face you. At the end of her turn, she is going to slash you, Aurelia, with the 23 to hit. That's going to hit me. Four. 14 slashing. Not seven this time, and I need you to make a strength save. I love these. Swear you see, to God, 17. I... We're knocked prone, Aurelia. Okay. Lee, you're up. <clears throat> oh, shit. Uh, Boom and Blade. That's a hit. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Um, so. <laughs> Seconds. So 17 from, from the blade itself, and then booming blade damage, an additional 8. So that'll be 25 in the hit. Okay. And then secondary attack. Uh, 
bonus action attack. That is. Uh, only 13 on that one. Okay. Try my best to go non lethal here using my monster hunting knowledge. Alright, anything else? That's all I really got. Right. Does bring us back to Ez's turn. She regains 10 hit points. And continues her blood frenzy against Aurelia. Oh my god! Oh no! Aurelia, that's a crit on the claws. Yeah, give it to me. That is going to be... 19 slashing. And you are already prone, so you don't need to do any saves. She is then going to attempt to bite you. It's a 28 to hit, Aurelia. That is going to be 13 piercing and 18 necrotic. I'm down. I need you to make a constitution saving throw. You succeed. That is the end of Ez's turn. Brings us to Veronis. What does that mean? What's going to happen to me? Well, here we go. Just looking over my tools, and the only thing I got is death. Oh, the no! To miss, like an amazing champion. One of these has got to hit. I can't remember what I used my sexual inspiration on now, but I hate, I, I hate <laughs> that I did. <laughs> oh, oh, boy. Man. Hey, there you go. Okay. That makes up for it. That's also a hit. What's the damage total here? Uh, looks like 30 on the first one. Wow. 20, 16 on the second one. Okay, so 46. Okay, she's looking really rough, people. Carlotta is going to go for the hug on her <laughs> knee. Knee crush. Knee crush. Ten does not hit. Miss. <laughs> Zombie bite. 22 hits for seven. Okay. Man, would be great if the zombie killed him. <laughs> just... Not looking that rough. Uh, <laughs> it's, that's everything I got. That's the whole cell, though. Okay. Lee. 28 to hit on the claw. Yes. For 12 slashing and a strength save, please. Disadvantage is a 22. Yes. That's dead. Okay. 19, uh, sorry, not 19, 9 slashing. <clears throat> oh, okay. Uh, strength save, Yeah. 12. You are down, not prone. Boulevard. Strahd's puppet. Soon you will be our puppet. And I will use my final fourth level slot to psychic lance her. Intelligence saving throw. Alright, no more of those resistances. Her result is a 10. Nice. She is incapacitated and she takes 20 psychic damage. Boulevard, how does she die? All oh right. <laughs> um, with the movements of my hand, uh, I control her basically like a puppet. So as I move my hand up and down, she kind of bounces for a second at the same in unison, and then just drops to the ground as I drop my hand as low as it can go. And I'm gonna try and help Aurelia uh, to stabilize her uh, on my next turn. That's my turn. As she hits the ground, slammed down into the ground. Blood coming from her eyes, her ears. Form slowly begins to shift back into that of the young girl that you all came to Barovia with. She coughs. 
spitting out some blood as she does. Her eyes flutter open briefly. She says, I'm sorry. I tried. For days I tried. It was too much. He sent me after her. He has her. Are you fucking kidding? <laughs> and then she dies. Yeah, we kind of assumed that she had her. Or I kind of assumed. I didn't. I because thought she was at least okay. No, what? What? <laughs> the Mardikovs got, like, destroyed. And True. we left her with the Mardikovs. Yeah, I mean, we also kind of fucked that up with the Mardikovs. Also, I have no connection to her, so I'm going to start looting her. Oh, my God. <laughs> I never met this woman in my life. So as Lee crouches down over the body, the icy wind of this place beginning to blow the mist away. We are going to call it a session right here.